MetaSwitch is at the forefront of NFV, leading the development of innovative virtualized network functions. Here we have a demo scale Perimeta SBC with distributed architecture, meaning that the signaling is handled by the Perimeta SSC function, while the media is handled separately by one or more Perimeta MSCs. The SSC and MSCs are running in a virtualized environment, which allows for incredible flexibility in deployment scaling. Watch as I push the capacity limits and then dynamically redistribute the traffic load by turning up new virtual instances in real time. Remember, because this is just a demo system, the capacity limits are not representative of a live perimeter deployment. You can see that I have simulated calls running through the system at a rate of 40 calls per second, which gives about 800 active sessions on both the SSC and MSC1, which is the only MSC currently running. As I increase the call rate to 60 calls per second, you can see the session count go up on the SSC and MSC. But in our demo environment, we've limited the MSC's capacity to handle bursts of about 1,000 sessions, which is creating the peaks and valleys that you see here, alternating between about 800 sessions on the stable end and about 1,000 sessions on the bursts. The same pattern is reflected in the SSC as calls start failing due to limited resources on the MSC. Now I'll go ahead and start another MSC instance, which was not running while its resources were not needed. Now MSC2 has completed its startup process and is starting to take load. In this particular system, MSC1 will continue to take load up to its capacity, and then subsequent MSC instances are set up as fallback resource pool. This is why we see MSC1 continuing its capacity pattern of about 800 active sessions while bursting up to 1,000 sessions. But you can see the SSC is now maintaining a steady session count because instead of calls failing, MSC2 is taking the overflow load. Now I'll go ahead and increase the call rate again, this time up to 120 calls per second, which will max out the capacity of MSC2, just like we observed with MSC1. As we start to see calls fail on the SSC due to lack of media resources, all we need to do is spin up MSC3 to share the load. This time, I'll start a new instance from scratch. Pressing the provision button kicks off the creation of a new virtual machine based on a pre-configured template. Here, this process takes only about five minutes before the new instance is fully functional. The speed with which we can add additional resources is extremely beneficial when the capacity requirement changes were not predicted. This would save months of work over traditional hardware models where the new hardware would need to be purchased, shipped, racked, installed, configured, and tested before it can be added to the resource pool. Now MSC3 is up and the overflow from MSC1 is balanced between MSC2 and MSC3 while the SSC is maintaining a steady level of active sessions. As expected, you can see that at any given time, the total combined sessions between MSC 1, 2, and 3 is equal to the active session count on the SSC. And if capacity requirements were to decrease again, we can just as easily shut down unneeded resources. Remember, in this case, the orchestration is manual, but in an NFV infrastructure, Everything from provisioning to starting or shutting down a server will be done automatically based on configured capacity triggers, creating virtual SBC deployments that are smart and flexible enough to handle ever-changing capacity requirements with ease.